a series of unusual disturbances has begun appearing off the coast of Naples. What first looked like harmless ripples on the surface has now become one of the most closely monitored geological events in Europe. Fishermen reported continuous gas bubbles forming long chains across the water. Thermal imaging confirmed that the sea in these specific zones is warming, not due to sunlight or currents, but due to heat and gases rising from below the seafloor. Scientists analyzing these readings reached a clear conclusion. A deep magmatic system beneath southern Italy has become more active. The area in question isn't a normal volcanic field. It is Campi Flagre, or the Burning Fields. A 13-kilometer-wide caldera system with a documented history of explosive behavior. It lies directly beside the densely populated city of Naples, with more than 3 million residents inside the high-risk zone. For decades, the region has shown signs of unrest, but the combination of signals occurring now is different in both scale and pattern. Since the 1950s, parts of the Campi Flegre area have risen by over 4 meters due to a geological process called Bradyseism, slow, repeated uplift, and subsidence. This motion is caused by pressure changes in the hydrothermal and magmatic systems below. The town of Pozzuoli has been especially affected. Streets have tilted, ancient structures have warped, and shorelines have shifted upward. This long-term rise isn't new, but recent measurements show a sharp increase in the rate of uplift, indicating that the pressure source beneath the surface is changing rapidly. Satellite radar and GPS stations detected an acceleration that cannot be explained by shallow steam alone. The data suggests magma movement, not just hot water. This is one of the primary reasons scientists have moved the region into heightened alert. The most notable change is occurring offshore. A section of the seafloor between Pozzuoli and the Bay of Naples is actively rising. Thermal drones recorded water temperatures increasing by several degrees. Dozens of new vent openings have formed on the seafloor, releasing carbon dioxide, sulfur compounds, and helium. The gas ratios match signatures linked to deep, magmatic sources a sign that molten material is heating underground water and forcing gases upward. The surface of the water now appears to simmer, not due to boiling, but due to constant gas escape. This effect was last seen in the 1500s, shortly before significant geological activity reshaped the coastline. The last eruption in the region occurred in 1538, forming a new volcanic cone called Monte Nuovo. The eruption was small compared to what this caldera can produce, but it occurred after similar patterns. Uplift, gas discharge, earthquake swarms, and localized ground heating. In the final days before Monte Nuovo formed, observers reported the sea stirring and releasing thick plumes of gas, almost identical to current activity. This comparison does not mean an eruption is imminent, but historically, these signals occur during phases of critical adjustment within the system. Campi Flegre is experiencing persistent seismic swarms. Small earthquakes have been occurring at shallow depths many of them less than two kilometers beneath the surface. Dozens can occur in a single day. What concerns researchers is not just the frequency, but the migration of the quake sources upward. This pattern indicates the crust above the magma body is becoming more brittle. Some volcanologists describe this stage as mechanical weakening, a process where the rock progressively loses strength after multiple uplift cycles. Each episode of deformation leaves microfractures. Over decades, these accumulate. As a result, it takes less pressure than before to generate cracks capable of enabling magma or superheated fluids to rise. Volcano observatories rarely see all major pre-eruptive indicators activate at the same time. Campi Flegre currently displays three of them, ground uplift accelerating, gas emissions increasing, and shallow seismic swarms intensifying. Each individual sign is manageable. Combined, they represent a system under mounting stress. One volcanologist described the situation using a strictly factual analogy. The system is approaching its mechanical limit. This statement does not predict an eruption. It reflects the measured conclusion that the crust is thinner, weaker, and more fractured than in previous decades. Even without a magmatic eruption, the system can generate hazardous events. If superheated water beneath the seafloor flashes into steam, the result can be a hydrothermal explosion. Such an explosion can eject boiling water, gases, and rock fragments at high velocity. These events can occur with little warning and can reshape marine or coastal areas within seconds. The current bubbling and water disturbance indicate that superheated fluids are near the stability threshold. 
This is one reason scientists are continuously scanning the region for abrupt temperature spikes or pressure drops. Repeated uplift over the last century has altered the crust. Several scientific papers conclude that Campi Flegre's crust has become mechanically compromised. This means fractures are more connected, pressure distributes differently, gas pathways can open rapidly, and overlying rock requires less energy to break. This cumulative weakening is why many researchers consider the system more sensitive now than at any point in recent history. Potential Scenarios Scientists outline several possible outcomes ranked by likelihood. 1. Continued unrest without eruption. This is historically common. Many calderas enter active phases and then stabilize. 2. Hydrothermal or phreatic explosions. Shallow explosions caused by steam capable of damaging coastal zones. 3. Submarine eruption. If magma intersects the seafloor, the rapid interaction with seawater can create explosive reactions. Fourth. Magmatic eruption on land, less likely, but part of the long-term hazard profile due to the size of the magma chamber. The magma chamber beneath Campi Flegre spans a wide region, including parts of the Bay of Naples. Recent imaging indicates partial melt in deeper zones, contradicting older models that assumed most of it had solidified. The Italian Civil Protection Department has elevated the alert status. Monitoring stations have increased, evacuation routes are being reviewed, Sirens and communication systems are undergoing testing. Officials stress that these steps are precautionary, not predictive. However, they are consistent with responses taken in the 1983 to 1984 crisis, when uplift and seismic activity forced the evacuation of tens of thousands of residents. Current protocols aim to detect any escalation hours or days before a significant event, though scientists acknowledge that hydrothermal explosions may provide minimal warning. Some geological models suggest deep channels may connect Campi Flegre with the magmatic system beneath Mount Vesuvius. While evidence is limited, the possibility influences hazard planning. Pressure adjustments in one system could, in theory, affect the other. This interconnected behavior is observed in other caldera clusters worldwide, and it remains an active area of Italian volcanic research. Gas composition reveals clues. High carbon dioxide means deep magmatic degassing, Helium-3 means there is mantle-derived material. And finally, sulfur compounds means high-temperature hydrothermal pathways. The appearance of these gases offshore means the system is venting heat and pressure as it reorganizes itself. Every bubble rising offshore is essentially a data point. A signal of movement, heat, and stress changes occurring in the crust. The boiling appearance is not literal boiling. It is the surface expression of a pressurized system beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions. The current activity does not confirm an impending eruption, but the indicators confirm an active and evolving geological system. What is certain is that Campi Flegre is not dormant. The caldera is adjusting, releasing pressure, and transmitting clear signals of internal reorganization. Scientists continue to track ground deformation rates, gas composition, water temperature anomalies, and seafloor elevation. These measurements form the basis of real-time hazard assessments. In a region shaped by thousands of years of volcanic history, the events off the coast of Naples are a reminder that active calderas do not simply rest, they evolve. The goal is not to predict the exact moment of eruption, but to understand the trajectory of the system. And right now, that trajectory shows increasing activity, accelerating deformation, and greater gas emission than in previous cycles. For scientists, this phase is one of the most important observation periods in decades. For residents, it is a period of vigilance supported by constant monitoring. The sea is bubbling because the crust beneath it is changing, and every shift, every gas release, every microquake is part of a larger story unfolding deep beneath southern Italy. 